Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist. And today I'd like to spend just a few minutes talking a bit about the future of the internet. Uh, you're gathered uh, today for a conference that uh, spans over several days. And I expect that you're going to be talking a great deal about what the internet holds in the future. And of course, part of that future is something that you yourselves will create. The World Wide Web and the internet that supports it has spread rapidly around the world. There are estimated to be one and a half billion users on the network today. And as many of you know, we will be uh, introducing, the, the internet community will be introducing domain names that are written in, in uh, characters other than Latin characters. So Cyrillic, for example, will be permitted, or Hebrew, or Arabic, or Chinese, or Japanese, or Korean, or many, many other languages, and other scripts will become part of the uh, language, so to speak, of the domain name system. This is an important part of the internationalization of the network, and it's important that we do this well and carefully. In addition to that, the internet is beginning to evolve into a larger scale using IP version 6. In order for that to work, we are all going to have to work diligently to interconnect islands of IP version 6 capability on the net in order to create a coherent and connected core. That will be part of the job that all of us will have to undertake in order to allow the net to evolve to a larger scale. There will be more devices on the internet there will be more applications on the internet as people pour more and more information into it. It's vital that all of you recognize that the internet has reached the point where it is today because of a great deal of cooperative labor among a great many individuals and organizations on an international scale. I'm very pleased to tell you that in my uh, opportunities to visit in Bulgaria in Sofia in the past, I've had opportunities to meet with President Parvanov and with Prime Minister Stanishev, and I have been most impressed by the uh, position taken by the Bulgarian government with regard to internet and the way it's treated legally and the way it's treated societally. It is there, it is treated as an important uh, platform on which new applications can be developed. It is left largely unregulated in order to develop ideas and innovative thought uh, without significant constraint. I hope that this same general notion will apply in other parts of the world, especially in the uh, eastern region where many of you come from, because it's the innovative atmosphere in the internet, the opportunity to invent and create new applications and allow them to spread around the world that has powered the internet's energy. It has given the internet economic power because of the creative ideas of so many hundreds of millions of people around the world. So part of the uh, internet's evolution has depended on that. It's also depended a great deal on cooperative work to develop policies on the use of the network and the way in which its uh, special uh, facilities are allocated, address spaces, domain names, and the like, all of that policy development has required a very cooperative and collaborative environment, particularly one which is multi-stakeholder in character, so that governments, the private sector, civil society, are all able to work together with the technical sector in order to help the internet evolve. And so I think it is a, a charge to all of you to help maintain that uh, important uh, progression of internet growth in a spirit of collaboration and cooperation. Since I can't see you today, we'll have to put up with virtual event, but in the future I hope to see you on the net.